uh, what what they want me to ask you about, which is True Blood. <laughs> oh. And um, um, I I didn't do much. It was uh, I had high hopes, even though he didn't do much in the book. You mm-hmm, know, mm-hmm. They, they made me technically a series regular. Sure. For the first three years, so they paid me pretty good. Mm-hmm. But I got more shows guaranteed than I got to do. Sure. But Alan Ball is a uh, I thought it was a big thrill to go from David Milch to Alan Ball, <clears throat> from Deadwood to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But there's not much I can say. Uh, maybe he's a self-repeating old bore. Mm-hmm. Charlene Harris, I love her. She said, "I wish they'd give me more to do." <clears throat> but you know. Was he a good old boy? Do you think? Yeah, I think he. Was, well, he was lazy. I didn't ever see him as racist or anything. I didn't see that at all just sure. lazy I'm not uh, he's just kind of a lazy ineffectual sheriff and that's me <laughs> <laughs> were you surp- I mean when you when you get something like True Blood and were you surprised at how fast that show took off in terms of how, how the public responded to it yeah yeah except I believed in Alan Ball mm-hmm I don't know how mutual that was, but I, I really believed in him, and uh, uh, it had such a following. But somebody called it vampire porn, not me. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> but uh, I guess there's a uh, little debauchery in everybody. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what to say except I'm glad I had a new heart that the family could see before you know, I've got grandchildren and they can't see it. And there's sure. a kid in church. Where's the actor? He's not here. He's so I finally hooked up with this kindergarten guy, but I can't show him anything <laughs> lately. <laughs> His mom told him he's a movie star. And that made me mad, but the kid is so cute, man. <laughs> His name is Calvin. You know. mm-hmm. But I don't know if I'm making sense. Fragmented no, sentences fine. you no, can you're tell good. how you're crazy good. I've gotten <laughs> What what do you think? Did did you ever did you see? And working on True Blood, did you see a, a change perhaps in? I mean, you have the show right that starts out. There's not really heck, probably a lot of expectations for. I mean, sure, it's Alan Ball, he's six feet under, American Beauty. But I mean, did was there expectations? And how did how did the people's attitudes change by the last season you were on? In sense that did I mean? Well, they they're pretty thrilled. The young ones had. Uh, they're pretty thrilled with the money. I uh, did. Alan Ball have an agenda? Was uh, were the vampires a metaphor or a euphemism? Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> I that's uh, I couldn't afford that <clears throat> luxury mm-hmm. to think. I just uh, needed to enjoy the paycheck. And, sure. Uh, uh, it seemed to go. Did it? A divert from the books. Probably. Well, yeah, I mean, like, did you? I mean, was there a sense of egotism? I Be- never saw any unhappiness among the cast. Got you. Well, I'm I'm sort of pretty disappointed in terms of how they chose to uh, sort of write you off the show, right? Well, I mean, thanks, were you happy but, with that, or were you happy with the way how all that went down, or could you, could they have done something different? I was well, to, I uh, I was uh, they just weren't doing much with the character, so you know I I, I like to spoil the grandchildren. I like to leave big tips, you know, <laughs> and uh, so it wasn't wasn't terribly ha- fun. <laughs> Would you have been happy if they had made that character a vampire? Oh, uh, I I just like to keep doing different things, mm-hmm. even though that was bizarre when they had me put the Obama mask on. And yes, <laughs> that, that was bizarre, but it's something different. Sure. And, uh, sure. I uh, I don't I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, with the Obama uh, mask on, did you feel like you could have carried on with Obamacare? <laughs> well, I can't talk politics about anything. I love everybody and right. nobody more than Alan Ball. That's right. <laughs> He's nice. a saint. Yeah. But uh, Chris Bauer was great to work with from Broadway and Yale Drama School mm-hmm. and uh, Bill 
uh, Stephen Moyer and mm-hmm. Ryan. Sure. And uh, I. Uh, <clears throat> and I always uh, like the Sookie. Dynamic. Sookie was great, yeah. and uh, she uh, disdained for me, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I always like your your dynamic that you had with uh, the other. Uh, I can't remember the actor's name. Now, he's been around for a while, but the guy who played Andy Belfour. Yeah, that's Chris Chris Bauer. Oh, okay, he's Chris a, Bauer. Yeah, right. A wonderful actor. Yeah, yeah, he's been around. And I talked a lot too much. I thought, oh, well, this is going to be another Deadwood, and you know, and Deadwood they put me in every show, and only Ian and I did every show, so maybe I wasn't lead lead but it was a very good part and so sure. i was surprised at this one but i should have known it but uh i don't know they may have a little trouble this year i don't know if they changed uh uh showrunners is there any left. chance that you'll come back or no well you never know they bring them back they have flashbacks and stuff mm-hmm. but i don't count on it i uh i just hope they re- they usually rerun them more and there's more money, <laughs> but it, <laughs> right. they sold incredible DVDs around the world. Thank God. Sure, My wife right. Is happy about that. They're selling and, drinks, right? So they're. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they yeah. You tasted it? I have. Good. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Yeah, Look, not I, bad. you have so many things. You, you make some my chin in it. Head yeah. swell. I. Uh, I know I'm just a journeyman actor, and only as good as the next job, mm-hmm. but. Well, let me ask you one more question, then I'll, I'll thank you for your time. I, I have nowhere to go, man. <laughs> the wife went to visit her brother, who had a um, has a issue, and he's in the hospital. And uh, I'm going to the nursing home to my 98 year old grandfather in law, and we have that's what I'll do back here is try to help. Nice, corny nice. as that sounds. Nice. Yeah. Well, like I said earlier, you know what I one thing I love about what you do is and it's I'm sure it's just, you know, your natural persona, right? And that you have this interesting dynamic of danger and sincerity or like melancholy or apathy or, you know, pathos or whatever. And so I mean, is there anything you've done in, in your I mean, you've had such an amazing career, right? So is there anything you haven't done yet character wise that you really would like to do down the road? Well, uh, people ask that, and I uh, really haven't saw, sat and thought about it. Years ago, if I were the smart aleck uh, Robert Mitchum at the end of his career, and he's drinking, why do you have something? Why do you ask or something? But I, you know, play a gay character. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. tough. It would be, you know, to Michael Moriarty, we were employees in the same bar in New York. Mm-hmm. Play something. I just want to play things as far just keep changing. Keep sure, changing. sure. Uh, that would be a challenge to play it because some people would say, oh, he's too flamboyant. And some people, you know, uh, I I once said I'd like to play a lesbian. That'd be a stretch. <laughs> that would be a stretch. 